Three minutes. Three minutes door to door. If you ask for a list of prerequisites for a YouTube studio, this would be at the top of the list. The second item, be on the ground floor. It's not about being lazy, it's about being efficient. All right, maybe a little lazy. It's a little intimidating just trying to fill this space. I'm talking at a regular voice and all I hear is echo. Ha, ha, this is terrible for filming. Now the walls of the studio are paper thin, so I'll need one material to reject outside noise and, and then another one to soften reverb. Downtown LA has got the garment district, which is the best for buying stuff like this. Sorry. Best part of downtown LA is you can get foam much cheaper than Amazon.com to buy it in bulk. But the second best part is the hot dogs. Oh. I'll take one with everything. Everything? Everything. Really make it hot. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey. How's that hot dog, my buddy? Oh, it's amazing. At best, this is a mild form of diarrhea. is some dope shelves right along there. Every studio these days needs that industrial hipster look. Now Brooklyn pipes are cheaper on Amazon than they are at Home Depot. Now I'm the most creative when I have a lot of space and a lot of flexibility. So normal construction material. Yep, not gonna happen. Don't mind that, that's just the wall to my time machine. We'll cover that later. A wise man once said, everything that can go on wheels, should go on wheels. You'd be surprised at how professional things look when you add carpet and staple gun. The best thing about this place, it has tall ceilings with natural light. The worst thing, waiting till 6 p.m. for that natural light to go away. And this is where the story comes full circle. Remember that time machine I was telling you about? After Burning Man 2017, the time machine was decommissioned. The frame was destroyed and only a few components remained. The walls, the infinity mirror, and of course, the operating system. Orbiting Traveler's Intermediary Station. Otis, for short. Last year, I offloaded Otis to my home computer and several cameras with the intention to restore her to full power one day.
help me paint. Seven hundred LEDs. This is the power supply for it. Isn't that crazy? Moment of truth. Yep. There's a short in it somewhere. This probably looks a little intimidating to you, but to be honest with you, all LEDs work the same. So it's like once you know the code, you can do some really cool creative stuff. I didn't go to school for this. I'm not an engineer. I just took a lot of online tutorials. Websites like Skills. And I was about to give you guys a really genuine plug. So I like that number. I can work with that number. Can you do just a little bit more? Give my subscribers two free months and a meatball sub for me. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Neuroplasticity. Your brain is constantly in a state of wiring and rewiring. So I'm constantly learning. Websites like Skillshare that has over 26,000 courses and they update daily, I can binge as much as I want. So your brain has this really cool use it or lose it function. And because of neuroplasticity, someone like me who's a D student and expelled from high school, I mean, who wears a leopard skin tuxedo to prom? Thank God for neuroplasticity. I'm literally losing all of that crap I learned in high school and now filling it with stuff that I actually am interested in. Every time I invest in a course that I'm actually interested in, it's rewiring my brain. It's making it perform a little bit differently. So while you may not think LEDs and robotics and soldering is connected to filmmaking, it's all connected because your brain is constantly using new neural pathways to problem solve. Plus, everyone should know how to solder. You could read a ton of books or you could just take a class right here on Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. Want to learn better photography and composition skills? Check out Brandon Waffle's Instagram photography course. My God, this is packed with some creative juice. You don't have to spend hours searching on YouTube, watching videos that are driven by views. Instead, you can just get the information, pack it full of your brain, and go on to create some really dope art. It's probably either a dud LED or somehow I messed up the uh, soldering here. Sorry, we'll just replace this. Look at Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, all those big CEOs. Those guys are constantly reading, constantly learning. They know this secret, neuroplasticity. So learn the things that you want to learn and get rid of the rest. Skillshare is giving away two free months, so use that link down below to sign up. It's unlimited, and then it's only $10 a month after that. That's like the cost of like a really nice beer. So buy your brain a really nice beer once a month and get up on my level so you can make some art. God damn, I love being smart. So now that Otis's operating interface is connected, we route the flux capacitor thing to the time crystals and re-upload her original firmware to mitigate any issues with the upgrade I gave her virtual processor last month. It'll be a slight downgrade for her, but with this much power, it's better safe than sorry. Otis, are you with me? Otis? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Systems online. Integration complete. I'm online. And I'm aware. Oh, crap. Wow, holy crap, that was a lot of fun. Guys, honestly, I'm super lucky to have a studio like this, even though it means the end of the world for civilization as we know it. Uh, I think it was totally worth it. Also, I've been working on a bunch of shorter form content, so I'm going to try to post on a regular basis and try to trim down what I've been doing. Are you guys cool if I trim down the cinematic stuff and maybe just give you guys some more tools? Or do you want me to keep doing what I'm doing? You guys want a full walkthrough of the actual studio? I might do it as a live stream. I don't know. I want to know your comments. I did my first live stream last week with one of these guys. You ever seen one of these before? Four camera switcher. So now if you have attention deficit disorder like I do, you can just go boop, 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 boop. Hook up like multiple cameras and get some dope different angles and make it a little bit more interesting. So it's definitely something I want to play with. All right, yo, go make some art.